Hello, this is Don Brandt and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this Yiko DC Speed Controller. First, I'll show you a close-up of the bottom and here you can see it's clearly marked how to wire it and then here's the top with the convenient screw terminals. The parameters of this device are 3 to 35 volts up to 5 amps DC voltage. For our test, we'll be using three lithium ion cells. So we're going to test the, uh, the speed controller. Uh, and again, we got a printer motor. Uh, this is not a high speed, it doesn't draw a lot of current. Um, so, anyways, we're going to go ahead and test it. Here's the board. Um, this is a click to off board, so it does have an off setting. So, as soon as I click it on, the motor won't start, and you'll see the light up, up here just light up. That lets you know you got power. And then, uh, and then it's also on the bottom of the board, it has the markings. This is your load. In this case, it's a motor and uh, the DC uh, power in. Uh, so, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of look and listen to the motor here as we turn the speed controller up. And there's just kind of barely spinning. And again, this is a, not a high amp motor, so it's not going to go really fast. And you'll see that it's putting out 1.57 volts out of 12 right now. So we'll go ahead and back to the speed controller, and we'll go ahead and crank up the voltage a little bit, and we'll watch the motor speed up. So there's about uh, 3.16 volts, and uh, hopefully you can hear that motor. We'll go ahead and crank it up, and it will be uh, silent for a while so you guys can hear the motor. And that's about 6 volts, and you can definitely hear the motor speeding up. We'll crank it up to about 9. There's about 9 and a quarter volts. You can hear the motor speeding up. And we'll take it up to the max setting uh, to see if it actually will put out the 12 volts. So now this just could be because the battery voltage dropped, but we can see it's 11.88 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the leads off of the motor and we're going to actually check the battery voltage right now. 11.92, so there's a 0.1% a roughly around-ish uh, voltage drop across the whole thing. So anyway guys, uh, this is going to be kind of a down and dirty posted video to test the camera. Um, and kind of a review of the uh, low voltage eco um, voltage thingy. So I can find a lot of uses for this device in my shop and I bet you could too. You can buy this for about eight bucks on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. If you enjoy my videos, please link, comment, and subscribe. You can check out some of my other electronic videos here and thanks for watching.